Did I miss something? Let's the desk is here. 19th century. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, open it up. That's a walk. Right, now then. Key slot. That doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? A 19th century... Ah! I need the key. It would be broad and flat. Postage... Son of a bitch. I don't have anything. Uh, Brunetta, Venice, Italy. Brunetta, I need a key. It would be broad and flat. Pronto, Detective Brunetta. Buongiorno. This is Malachi Rector. I need to speak with you about the death of Bianca Cardono. I was told to expect your call. Meet me at 425 Alla Due Colonne. That's the site of the murder. Thank you. I'll see you there. Boom. We're fucking on. Thank goodness for this lengthy animation of me putting my fucking phone away. Jesus! Give me the mouse! A lot of loading time, given that it's loading up. Fucking... Ugh. The murder bridge. Saunters over. Woman? Woman? What woman? Did you see that? Look at that. Right there, it says on the right, woman. Canal, exit to map, buildings. Detective Abrunetta. House window, house, house door, woman. She ain't there. Let's go talk to her. this fuck. That fucker. must be Detective Brunetta. I wonder how Anvil... There's definitely more to this than deck. Oh, come on. There's nothing I need to access. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, wait. That's... Oh, wait. We've got to think him out. They have red eyes. Allergies? Working long hours, little sleep. Or stoned? Let's go for working long hours. Bloated stomach. Stress-induced acid reflux. Just had a huge meal. Drinks beer excessively. Uh, works long hours, little sleep. Let's go for stress-induced acid reflux. Smoker. Supposed to avoid eating. Thinks it makes him look sexy. High stress job. High stress job. Well-worn coat. 20 years as a detective. Shops and sister addiction to drug thing. 20 years as a detective. He's been a detective for around 20 years. His job is unusually stress- is, Sorry, is usually stressful. Has been even more so in the past week. I just- I don't understand how analysis complete. I mean, I don't get it. How do I talk to him? Here we go. Look at that walk. Walks like a cowboy crossed with a busted coat hanger. This is- a, These are two real people talking to each other. <laughs> are you Detective Brunetta? That is correct. <laughs> yes. I've been told to answer any questions you have about the death of Bianca Cardoz. Oh, that reflection! I understand why. Well, I'm glad to know where you stand, Detective. Let's get started, if you don't mind. Okay, did you... Look again at the reflection, if you see the reflection. The reflection is not the back of him, which is what you would see reflected in the water. In the reflection of the water, you see his front. So it's like taking this image and replicating it in wibbly water, like it doesn't understand how a reflection works. And look at the way I'm- look at my clothes. Everybody wears these figure-hugging. Oh, what are your you orders? You said you were told to answer my questions. Can I ask by whom? You don't know? I'm not in the habit of asking questions I know the answer to. I was told it came from a mayor's office. You were hired by Signore Cardolo, perhaps? Yeah. I can't tell you who hired me. I see. I suppose I just have to keep my guesses to myself. Tell me about the Cardolo family. I have the feeling you know better than I. I really don't. She comes from a very distinguished Venetian family. And her husband, Dante Cardolo, he's an important man in local politics. They're above reproach and also innocent, in my opinion. Wow, this game tell sucks. Tell me about Bianca Cardolo's murder. Oh my god. We know she was followed while walking home from a concert. She ran. 
The killers caught up with her here where we're standing. They hanged her from this bridge. Such a Sounds ridiculous familiar. way fact, to kill someone! Papers. I can't read your mind, Mr. Hector. If you have questions, ask them. Uh, were there, were there any, witnesses? any witnesses? None. We checked every residence in the area. No one admitted to seeing anything. Uh, you got any leads? On the killers? No, we found no physical evidence. Nothing. Fuck me. Was she alone? She was walking home from a concert alone. That's right. She went by herself. Uh, was she robbed? Molested? No, Mr. Hector. The postmortem shows no signs of rape. I didn't say As rape. For robbery, her purse fell Look at that reflection. Look at that reflection. It. Nothing was taken from it. Her jewelry was also left untouched, including a diamond ring worth more than I make in a month. Well, she was rich, dude. I mean, deal with it. Tell me about Bianca Cardello. She was a popular figure in Venice. Everyone knew her. She was even named the most beautiful woman in the city several years ago. The public wants her killer found, and so do I. Tell me about himself. It's always good to know your source. You won't mind telling me something about yourself? That depends on what you want to know. Um... This is a high-profile case, isn't it? You've been working on it around the clock. That's right. Never lets you go, a case like this. And what is your stake in the rector? What's my stake in the rector? I'm, I'm gonna find a to killer, find a killer, I guess. I oh wait, sorry, information. no. Just information. And you're a luckier man than I. But if you mean you'll stay out of my way, then I'm glad for it. Actually, I don't even... Actually, I'll be honest with you, I don't even know why? Do you know the Cardolo family personally? I'm here? I'm not a part of that high society, even if I have the time to have a social life, which I don't. Good point. You've been a detective for a long time. 20 years at least. That's right. Someone told you about me? Your experience is obvious. I will take that as a compliment. <sighs> Those are all the questions I have, detective. Maybe someday I'll know what this was all about, eh? I doubt it. Even I don't know what it's all about. But I wish you luck in finding Bianca's killer. I'll need more than wishes. Arrivederci, Mr. Hector. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Arrivederci, Inspector. Wait. Un achievement unlocked. Cooperate with the authorities. I didn't have a choice. I'm... Oof. Pardon, Signora. May I have a word with you? Yes? What can I do for you? <laughs> Where am I going? Whoa. Woman. Um. Wait, no. That doesn't work. Let's have a look here. Severe hairstyle. Hides drugs in bun. Retired teacher thinks style is sexy. Let's go for a retired teacher, I guess. Touch his neck. Scratching an itch. Has sore throat. Lost or sold jewelry. Um, let's put for lost or sold jewelry. Threadbare clothes. Low income. Did that say moth infestation? Calloused fingers. Works in dial factory. String musician or compulsive. Compulsive finger rubber? Not all matches are correct. Please double check your selections. Um. Oh, fucking hell. Alright. She, uh. She's a string musician. Yes, oh. Signore. What can I do for you? What? Look at his arm. Look at that. Look at his arm. Look at the angle. Like, I'm not kidding, but that angle there is dramatic. That angle there is dramatic. And then it sweeps back in. And then it folds in on his body. He's like emaciated. I mean, this is unhealthy. And it's it's flexing in and out behind my... I, I give up. Uh, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Malachi Rector. Una sera, signore. I am Caterina Falone. Um... 
Is this your home, Signora? It's lovely. Ah, oh, grazie. It's been in my family for four generations. I notice that you seem nervous, Signora. You would be nervous too if unspeakable things happened just outside your front door. I do not wish to talk about it. How about if I gave you some moolah? I would like to speak with you about the murder, Signora. No, I'm sorry. I won't speak about that. I already said as much to the police. But I am not the police. You can talk to me. I don't know you, Signore. And it is too terrible to talk about. No. That's it? Thank you for speaking with me, Signora. It was a pleasure to speak. You didn't give me shit, lady. What's this? Um. I believe that's a younger photo of Signora Felone, the woman who lives near the site of Bianca's murder. She's wearing a Venetian Murano glass necklace. I don't recall seeing it on her when we met. Ah. So I need to... According to Brunetta, not a soul in... Um, wait. Oh. I need to find... Let's, have, let's go back to this old guy. The music got jazzy. Ah, Mr. Rector. I'm glad you stopped by. Someone was here looking for you. Oh? Who was that? It was an Asian woman. Middle-aged. She didn't give her name. She came in to inquire about you after your last visit. To be honest, I didn't like her manner. Because you're racist! I didn't know you. I hope I wasn't wrong. No, she doesn't sound like anyone I know. And I don't care for people knowing my business. Let me know if she bothers you again. Of course. Um. I don't have anything new to say to him at the moment. Um. I need one of these. I think this one is worth a purchase. Yeah. I'd like to buy this necklace. Certainly. Let me get that for you. Shall I put it on your account? Please. There you are. You have a good eye, as always, Mr. Rector. Whoa! Where'd I put it? Off we go to give it to the old biddy. Hey. Hey! Yeah. Saunter, saunter. Knock, knock, knock. Great. This door is huge. Right. Signora Filoni. I was so struck by your elegance during our earlier conversation. I saw this in a shop today, and for some reason, had the idea that it must be worn by you and no other. Oh, Signore, how could you have known, eh? I had a similar necklace that I wore for many years, but uh, recently, well, I was forced to part with it. I shouldn't accept it, but... It has been years since I've received tokens from such a handsome young man, eh? How can I refuse? Mili grazie, signore. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Now, I'm sorry to give it up. you with a distressing subject, signore. But may I ask you about the night of the murder? <sighs> I really don't want to talk about that. Wait. I'm frightened. Of course you are. Who wouldn't be? But I'm not the police, and this information is not for the courts. It will stay between you and me. Well... I just bribed an old lady, and it gave me the, un the achievement, charming young man. I bribed her! A musician like yourself? Your ears are very keen. Yes, I heard a scream, as if her mouth was covered by a hand. Did you see their faces? Did you see their faces? No, their heads, their faces. They were covered in black, as if they were in a play. I swear. You looked out the window. What did you see? There were two men, all in black. 
slender, small. Oh, perhaps I've been foolish. I should have stayed quiet. I, I must go. Thank you for the necklace. Signora. Bye. She vanishes. Uh, and that's part four. Maybe our investigation will extend itself in part five. Until then, adieu. Wait, no. Arrivederci. <laughs>